Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag, TR Tony here outside the front of the house and looking forward to a trip to Henstridge today. It's down near Yeovil and Yeovilton, an ex-overflow uh, naval airbase from World War II where we have a wings and wheels event and uh, we're on our way to go and follow them up and uh, see what we can see. Okay, so uh, Harry's in the driving seat and we're just about to start up on the way to wings and wheels. Just takes a bit of gentle persuasion. Yep, I think we have it. That number plate's still rattling, you can hear it. Right Harry, so we'll see you there. See you there. Okay, Harry the Stag. Okay, so we've arrived at uh, Henstridge and the boys have returned Hello. for the lunch and we are walking back via the car park where we've seen quite a few classic cars. There are one or two stags but uh, loads of other cars as well and uh, a few planes flying in as well as micro lights too. So all to play for guys. It's what summer's all about isn't it? Uh -huh. And uh, Harry a stag himself. Carrying <laughs> chairs in about 15 Current kilos worth. Of yeah, doing well, boys. Apart from you, you have to sing to yourself. Yeah, nice mini. Beautiful colour. Look at that. Another mini there. This is speed. A bit of speed dating. This is speed classic car viewing. Triumphs, Lomax, old MG. It's a nice Camaro, I think. 51 plate, looking lovely. Pan round on the journey. Pontiac 8. MG, that's a very nice Triumph. Harry, is that signal red, that? Is that signal red, you reckon? I can't see in this light. Yeah. So yeah, possibly. I do like the signal red, I must say. Yeah. MG with a V8 engine. Uh, BM. Mazda. Midget. That's a nice car. Ford Mustang. Hot rod. The engine in that. A few more here. <laughs> and here we are, coming into the main area now. The cars and people everywhere and uh, soon to be planes. They're going to drop the rope down and we're going to have a look at some aircraft in a bit. We have seen one or two stags from a distance but we'll check in with those a little bit later on. And here we are, arrived at MGB GT stand. All looking smart, with uh, Lady Lydia already ensconced in the car, waiting for our return and for lunch, which we've now brought. Beagle pup, pretty cool. There he goes, stand by for launch. So come on then, Pilot Bob, when you're taking us up. In a minute, if you let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. That's a bit different to a Triumph Stag, isn't it? 
No, we're going to train masters, we're going to train masters. <laughs> So this is the plane that trumpet pilot Bob is qualified to fly in the US. Cessna, is it? 172. And the difference is it's got four seats in it. So you actually get to sit in the back. Whereas the 150 has only got two seats. It is 172, yeah? <coughs> it's quite a big aircraft actually when you get up close to it. <laughs> and a really good turnout actually. Look at all these loads and loads of classic cars of all creeds and all descriptions here. Um, I will zone in a moment on some stags. One or two triumphs I've seen. It's uh, pretty impressive, I think. You'd agree. And then over on the left hand side, if I pan around, you've then got a whole ton of planes and aircraft. And there goes one up now. Apparently, this is quite a historic one and quite a big one. Grandad Jim and Pilot Bob leading the way want to show me the radial engine on this one. Is that right? A bit bigger than a V8. Yes, some serious engineering in there. Look at that. The cylinder is pretty cool. That is a five-seater. <laughs> so there you go. Very luxurious inside. A bit more. Yeah. And that's a very nice Jaguar indeed, in a glorious green. Look at the interior, it's just uh, to die for, stunning. Hello. Hello, James. You got your suntan lotion on now. When you're this white, you got it. Nice Volvo Amazon, original colour, original condition. The bravery of the pilot was proven. Very nice Austin Healy. Very nice triumph, just leaving the uh, arena. Triumph 2000 Mark II.
Yeah, it is. There you go. First of the stags. Mark one, by the looks of it. White wheels. Looking good. Yeah, nice one with a hard top hemorrhage. Looking good. Or your MG. Yeah. Very nice 350 SL Mercedes here. Possibly a modern day stag, would you say? Beautiful colour, lovely. Oh, I'm about to be attacked by Microlite. Where's he gone? Benson, Lyman, and Joe. Very nice Mercedes again. Um, uh, Caven is not a million miles away from here. And the two air shows that we did at uh, Benny Metzwell and up at Campbelltown. And also our flyers across to. Yeah, so this is an Aston Martin V12 Vantage. Something like 600 brake horsepower, according six, to the owner. Six, six litres. It's got a black metallic storm paint. Um, awesome carbon fiber brakes which apparently last three times more than ordinary brakes and discs well pads anyway was just talking but uh, look at that this is the last oh, call for the car. car club and Harry's just having a look in as is pilot bob on the inside let's check it out on the inside what can you see Really cool too. Yeah. Awesome. Four Cortina GXL on an L Reg. James was just saying how much he likes these cars. Mine was similar in a metallic brown, would you believe, but with the square headlamps rather than the round ones. And uh, this is right next to Ford Falcon Wagon. What size is that? And what a paint job. It is very purple. And here we have a Ford Mustang GT 1966 by the looks of it. Just swing around, have a look through the what is the passenger seat. <laughs> Love the finish in there. Beautiful. Here we have a 2 plus 2 1970 E-type Jaguar in um, a very nice red indeed. Harry's quite keen on these. The thing is you need about 80 grand to buy one these days. 2 plus 2 on this side. Challenger, which looks pretty mean and pretty big and pretty yellow. Ask him to give it a rev. <laughs> You'd hear it on the other side of Yeovil. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, go on. go on then. Put to some of that. Oh, yeah. 
See you later. <laughs> there goes the 600 brake horsepower. Classy Aston Martin. Beautiful colour scheme, isn't it? Biscuity interior. I'm manual, I'm not going to touch it. No. Lovely. What is on it? The Ferrari Dino that's over there. Some lad had a. Yeah, DB4 Special Series Vantage 1962, one of only 44 built and restored in 1991. Done a brilliant job on it, looks stunning. And one for posterity, this is my very first car I ever had, Triumph Herald. Not sure what CC this was, they were 947 some of them, 1147 which was mine, CC. Mine was in an aquamarine green that you would have seen one earlier, but uh, nevertheless a well turned out motor. And indeed it is a 1200, so just the same as my old motor, and uh, fantastic condition. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, it's been a good trip up to Henstridge, uh, guesting with Ali the Nag in the background, <laughs> who's been lying on her back for most of the uh, day. Uh, you can still hear some planes flying away, uh, lots of cars now leaving, so we've had a really great time James, haven't we? Yeah. Been really yeah. good. Pilot Bob, he's uh, just done his ground school and he's about to go commercial flying training, so uh, we'll try and film you some try and stags from the air at some point in the future, won't we? That's what I did. <laughs> a bit of danger getting down there, but <laughs> I can try. It'll be fun. Anyway, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on Howie the Stag very soon. Very soon. Cheers guys, all the best. Cheers. Got a Barry the Stag in the MGB GT support vehicle with Lydia. Oh, come on. What? Loose bolt lids. Oh, yeah, loose bolt lids. I couldn't remember. I said that. Oh, and there we go. Off into the sunset.